You have surely spotted one of these stores that specialize in Afro-Caribbean goods. These stores are widespread in London neighborhoods such as Peckham, Seven Sisters or Dalston. It's here that today Mamu and Stella are shopping for air care products. But why don't they go to regular stores? Il y a plus de choix dans les magasins cosmétiques comme Pax ou il y en a plein d'autres mais je connais pas leur leur nom exact. After a quick investigation, the truth is blindingly obvious. Regular stores like Tesco or Asda have huge hair care sections with lots of options, but on the shelves, no signs of Afro-Caribbean hair care products. Stella has her own answer as to why. Ça fait pas rêver, ça fait pas vendre parce que on met un peu le la femme noire de de côté entre guillemets donc donc du coup ouais c'est pour ça qu'on trouve pas ça dans les grandes anciennes même si ça se démocratise de plus en plus. Even though specialized stores offer Afro-Caribbean people the opportunity to find products that suit their needs, the issue seems bigger than this. On le voit à la télé, on le voit dans les journaux, euh, il faut aller dans des boutiques spécialisées pour euh, pouvoir euh, entretenir ses cheveux convenablement. C'est pas quelque chose de normal. J'ai l'impression qu'on est vraiment considéré comme euh, voilà, des, des personnes entre guillemets à part. Il y a la normalité et puis il y a les cheveux crépus après. Vivian, a Nigerian girl who recently moved to Luton, also has to go to specialist stores to find her hair cream and shampoo. But she's optimistic about the situation. It's, it's a huge trend now, it's becoming a huge trend now. People want to have that big, full African, Afro-Caribbean hair. And you know, and it's because of the celebrities on the red carpet, it's because of the celebrities in that, that, so that make it to the media with their hair. And also there's black magazines who really portray these hairstyles and you know, People like it now and people are beginning to be influenced by the hair, the hairstyle. Our hair is a lot for a lot of people to understand. So yes, definitely it will be huge in the future. The problem takes roots within a cultural sense of beauty in the occidental world, according to Stella. It's really difficult to impose in a way natural when all the women around you explain by A plus B or unconsciously that your hair is very moche. Il y a même des stars aujourd'hui qui sont très médiatisées. Je pense à Solange, la sœur de Beyoncé, qui assume son côté naturel. Il y a pas mal de youtubeuses, de blogueuses. C'est vraiment à la mode. Il y a vraiment un renouveau. Buying hair care products in specialty stores for Afro-Caribbean people is just the tip of the iceberg. There is still an ongoing battle to fight for this community from being invisible in the supermarkets, but present on the street. Mm -hmm.